I guess I gotta make this video. So I'm waiting for Eddie. He's picking up something. Look at his car. Half of it is missing. But we're on the way. Uh, we're on the way to go to Jackson Heights to go pick up this Jaguar. Should be nice. Stay tuned. I cut my finger. Go see the car. It's, it looks good. Yesterday I went to see it. It started. It was running pretty good. My nose is... I ain't gonna front. It's a nice car. This is Eddie's shit. It's just missing a few parts. If you ever wanted to see this water line, this is where it's at from the sunroof. You heard? Underneath the plastics. Let's press the button and see what happens to this car. Nothing happened. Uh oh. Nothing. Nothing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, something's happening. I pressed the wrong button. Uh oh, don't press that, don't press that. Okay, cancel, cancel. Oh shit. Yo, I just bought a Jaguar. <laughs> Look at this shit, this is beautiful. Red interior, I ain't got no plates. I'm about to drive all the way back with this. Yo, so I got the car. I'm driving, I'm in Jackson Heights. Um, I'm taking it back to the shop. I'm not feeling too good. I'm taking it back to the shop. I got the GPS going. Let's see what happens. Let me drive. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. So we're under the car. It's dripping from the uh, from the water pump up there. It's got a few little oil leaks. Nothing that's gonna kill me, but um, it's pretty good. No rust, you know. Pretty good, clean. Look at that. The the paint came off of there, but it's like beautiful underneath. See it? Just no rust. It's nice. Somebody did the back brakes. See, this is why I had problems with the air ride. It comes with two springs on one side around the axle. So it's kind of difficult to put the air right in there. What I basically did was take out, I took out the spring from the back section and left the shock in there. And I made a perch onto this. And um, I created a, uh, That was so crazy. I don't even know what I, what I did and why I did that. You know what I mean? Like that was back in the day stuff. The best thing to do would be put a strut in there and call it a day. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go after the old school setup way or not. Cause to do it the old way, I had to cut all these, this frame, all this came out and I made my own bracket to hold the control arm. I made my own brackets. I made my own cage around this diff. And that was the last time that I did it. And it was really strong, you know? I don't know, we'll figure it out when, we, when I get to that point. My first Jaguar, I had a um a big square plate here and um, I hit the plate and the plate broke off and went through this engine and transmission it broke both of these uh, the transmission broke because of this this bar right here so like it hit here it hit right here and then it went straight through and broke everything and I had to get rid of the car because this frame was bent up too after the hit and that was how the first one went down the second one had some kind of like electrical issues and my third one got hit in a in a in front of my house by some drunk person but yeah we'll get more into it later i'm kind of tired i'm not feeling good but i'm happy that i got it you know i'm excited even though I don't sound excited, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. <laughs>